What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scoop and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on part two of our series of dry suit diving. And in today's video, we're actually going to look at how you actually don and doff a dry suit. Now if you don't know what that means, it just simply means how do you put a dry suit on? How do you take a dry suit off? And we're going to look at three specific models because that's what I happen to have here in stock with me. And we're going to show you just how easy it is to don and doff a dry suit, but we're also going to talk about the proper order and how you do it. So with that being said, let's get started. So when you don and doff a dry suit, you obviously want to make sure that you're doing it in the right order. You want to make sure that you get your zipper nice and closed. You want to make sure that you prep the zipper the way it needs to be. And you also want to make sure that your undergarment's not getting caught up in anywhere that's going to cause restriction whenever you suit up. Now, me personally, I actually prefer to use a chair to assist me. So regardless of the suit that I wear, I can simply sit down in a chair and take my time putting the gear on. Now, if you happen to do the type of work that I do, both salvage, commercial, and public safety work, there may be some times when you have to do a quick doning procedure and that just takes practice. You want to make sure that you get everything right but you've got to do it sped up compared to what you do when you just go out diving for fun. So let's take a quick look at how you don each type of the suits that I personally wear and I'll kind of give you some pointers along the way of what can make your doning and dolphin process a lot easier. Now we're going to go ahead and start with the neoprene dry suit and I'm going to show you how I personally don this suit. Now this is a back entry suit that simply means once I have it on someone's going to have to zip me up. It's not something that I can do on my own. But to start with I'm going to start sitting down in a chair and I'm going to slowly roll the suit down. That just means I'm going to pull it basically inside out. I'm going to get the suspenders out as well and I'm going to go ahead and open up the leg holes where I can very easily just slide my legs down in. Now it doesn't matter which leg you start with whether you start the left or right it's completely up to you. But once I've got my legs down in the suit and I've got my feet seated in the boots himself, I'm going to go ahead and pull that suit up as high as I can. So I'm basically just going to roll the suit up gently past my waist area and then of course I'm going to add the suspenders on. Now once the suspenders are on I can slowly pull the suit on up into position. Now once it's up say to my chest area then I'm going to go ahead and slide my arms through. Now once again this procedure doesn't really matter which arm you start with. Whether you start with your right or left is completely up to you. I typically start with my right because it's consistent with the other suits that I wear where I typically do use my right arm first. So I'm going to go ahead and get my right arm in and then I'm going to stick my left arm in. Now with a neoprene dry suit, typically speaking, you're going to roll your seals down. Whether you choose to roll the wrist seals down before you put the head on, you can simply do that or you can wait till you have the suit completely on and then you can roll it down. Now that my wrists are through, I'm going to go ahead and slide my head through. Now because it's a back entry suit, I want to be careful here not to overstretch the neck seal as I do this. So I'm going to tilt my head down. I'm going to pull that seal completely up and over my head and down around my neck. Now typically once this procedure is done, I'll have my buddy come in behind me and he's going to zip up the suit. Once the suit is zipped up properly, I'm just going to give it a little test, give it three little pulls to make sure everything's good to go. And then of course, I'm going to roll the neck seal down followed by the wrist seals down, and then I'm going to burp the suit. Now, thankfully, with a neoprene suit, you don't necessarily have to burp it completely because it squeezes in. It's going to kind of burp itself. But if you need to, all you do is simply pull out on the neck, you squat down, that's going to squeeze all the air out of the suit, and then you release the neck, and as you stand up, that suit's going to be properly fitted to you. Now that we have the suit on, it is time to actually take it off. And the procedure to take it off is just the exact reverse of what you did to put it on. I'm going to have my buddy come over and he is going to unzip the suit for me. Now, a quick little note. When you zip and unzip these suits, they need to be very smooth. One smooth motion. Don't make a lot of stops because you do run the risk of kinking the zipper. Now, brass tooth zippers are a little bit more durable. However, with a plastic zip like I use on my neoprene, you want to make sure it's nice and smooth. Now, once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the head or the neck seal off first so I'm just simply gonna stretch it out get my chin tucked down through it and I can pull it up and over my head once it's off I can slightly pull the chest area down so that I can work on my 
wrist seals. Now, once again, it doesn't matter whether you do your left or right first, but you're gonna simply open the seal up and pull your arm out. Now, you may accidentally pull the arm inside out as you do this, that is perfectly okay. It doesn't damage the suit in any way. But once it's off, I'm gonna go ahead and take the other arm out and remove it completely. Now, as I have the top part of the suit off, I can go ahead and lower the suit down or simply roll it down my body until the suspenders catch the suit. Once they catch the suit, I can very easily just simply pull the suspenders off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and I'm gonna to continue to roll the suit off. It's very similar to how I actually do a wetsuit. I simply just roll that suit all the way down my legs until I can get my feet free. Now this next part, can be tricky to, based off the suit that you have. If you have in built-in boots like I do on my suit, I can very easily take one foot, pull the boot off the heel of the other side, and then simply pull my leg out. Once that's done, I can take my foot and repeat the process. I can simply push slightly on the bottom of the heel, pull that boot off, and then I can pull my leg out. Now, if you have a suit that does not have attached boots, you may have to be a little bit more careful. You don't want to pull on a seam or risk tearing up the suit at the bottom by simply using your foot to do it as well. Now let's take a quick look at how I get into a front horizontal entry by laminate dry suit. Just like we did with the neoprene, I'm going to simply start by sitting down in a chair. I'm going to roll the suit inside out, at least down to the crotch area, and I want to make sure that the suspenders are completely out of the way so I don't get them entangled with my legs. Now once I put my legs in, it doesn't really matter if you start with your left or right. I want to get them completely down in the leg pocket of the suit and make sure that my feet get seated clearly in the dry suit boot. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and stand up and pull that suit up. Up as high as I can. Now I personally prefer to get it at least up to the waist area before I put on the suspenders. Now once the suspenders are on, I can adjust the legs appropriately. The suspenders will actually hold the suit in place. Now that that's done, I'm going to pull the suit on up to my shoulder, at least to my chest area, and I'm going to start with my right arm. I'm going to stick my right arm in, poke it through the wrist seal, and then I can move over onto the left arm as well. Now once again, I like to start with the right arm because it's going to be consistent with all three models that I wear. Now that I've got both arms in, I can simply duck my head down and pull the top part of the suit over my head. Now I like to do the Ace Ventura method where I simply stretch out the suit and or the seal and poke my head through the top of it. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and pull the suit down into place and I'm going to pull that entire flap out in front of me to where the zipper is exposed and it's going to be very easy to zip. Now this particular suit here has a brass tooth zipper and I want to make sure that it's waxed appropriately. In a future video, I'm going to show you how to prep a suit prior to putting it on and we'll show you different types of zippers as well. Now when I go to zip the suit, I want to make sure I do it in one smooth motion. I don't want a lot of starting and stopping. You do run the risk if you start and stop of getting debris in there and you can kink the zipper as well, which would basically render the suit useless. It's going to leak if you don't do it appropriately. So now that I've got it completely zipped up, I'm going to close the flap. Now here I've got actually two different options. I can go ahead and burp the suit or I can wrap the material around and clip it into place. Either method is going to work fine for you. I actually do both methods depending on where I'm at. Now now that it's clipped in, I'm going to simply squat down, burping the suit by simply pulling out on the neck seal as I squat down and all that air will come out of the suit. Once I stand up, you'll feel the slight little squeeze of the suit, but you can get it adjusted exactly where you need it. Now that we got the front horizontal entry suit on, let's go ahead and show you how we remove it. I'm going to simply start by unclipping the straps in the front. Once that's done, I can go ahead and remove the zipper flap by simply unvelcroing it and I can unzip the suit. Now that that's done, I can simply open up the zipper area and stretch that suit upwards. That's going to give me plenty of room to actually maneuver the suit to get my head out of the neck seal. Now that I've got that, I can simply stretch out the neck seal, start by tucking my chin, raising my shoulders as I duck my head, and I can very easily remove the suit from my head. Now that that's done, I'm going to move over to my right arm, and I'm simply going to reverse the process of how I stuck it in. I'm going to stretch the seal out, pull my wrist out through the wrist seal itself, and then I can simply pull my arm out. Once I've got it off my right arm, I simply repeat the process with the left arm as well. Now that that's done, I can simply roll the suit down until the suspenders catch. Now that the suspenders catch, I can very easily remove the suspenders, have a seat once again in my chair, and I can roll the suit on down to the crotch area. Now here, I'm gonna simply take my left foot, 
I'm going to push on the back side of the heel of the boot of the suit and simply pull my foot out of the foot pocket. Once that's done, simply pull my right leg out and repeat the process. Take my toes of my right foot, push down on the bottom side of the heel of the left foot, get my foot removed, and then I can very easily pull my feet and my legs completely out of the suit. Just like we did with the neoprene suit, I'm going to hang it up to let it dry. And with a brass zipper, I typically tend to leave them open so that it doesn't get kinked after the drying process and it allows that suit to fold up nicely for storage. Now we're going to move on to a front entry or diagonal front entry tri-laminate suit. These are probably one of the easiest suits to get in and out of. Not only are they self-doning, but the suits are actually designed to make it very easy to get in and out of because they typically have what's called a telescoping waist. So once again, I'm going to start the procedure just like I did with the other two suits. I'm going to have a seat. I'm going to inchworm that suit inside out or basically turn it inside out at least down to, say, the crotch area. I'm going to go ahead and pull the suspenders out to make sure I don't get them into tangled as I start the doning process. I'm going to go ahead and put my feet in, get them seated down in the boots, and get it pulled all the way up in the leg area as high as I can. Now once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and stand up and go ahead and roll that suit up onto my body. I'm going to go up past the crotch area all the way up into the waist area as high as I can actually get it. Then I'll put my arms through the suspenders and pull the remaining part of the suit up at least to the chest area. Now each manufacturer is going to be a little bit different as far as the doning process goes when you have a front diagonal no entry. With the scuba force suit you're seeing here, they actually recommend that you put your right arm in first, which makes it very consistent with the other two suits where I start with my right arm. So I'm simply going to put the right arm in, I'm going to pull my wrist clean through the seal or put my hand and wrist through the seal, and I'm going to go ahead and pull that suit completely up on the shoulder as high as I can get, or at least as high as on my back as I can get it. Now I can reach back with my left hand, I can stick it down through the arm as well, and simply pull the left hand through the seal. Now once all that's seated and I've got the wrist seals exactly where I need them, then all I've got to do is stretch that material up. And stretch is not really a good word for this. All I'm doing is simply pulling the suit up. You'll see very quickly, once I have the suit on, there's a lot of excess material that's built into what's called a telescoping waist. And this is where doning becomes very easy. As I pull that material up, it makes the suit a lot taller than I am. So it's very easy to pull that suit up above my head, stretch my head through the neck seal, and then I can pull that material down. Now, a lot of divers will make the mistake of actually zipping the suit before they do their waist strap. I actually prefer to do the waist strap first. Once the suit's zipped, you've basically created an air pocket around you, and it's very difficult to reach down and get that crotch snap snapped into place. Well, for me, if I go ahead and do the crotch strap while the suit is still unzipped, I don't have that pocket of air squeezing in on my body as I bend over to do so. so once once I've got the neck seal in place, I'm going to pull the material down in place where it needs to be. I'm going to go ahead and attach the crotch strap. Then I'm going to stand up and make sure the zipper area is nice and clean. Once I realize there's nothing there, I'm going to go ahead and zip the waterproof zipper first. Once I get to the bottom, then I'm going to reach up and I'm going to do the protective zip on top of that. Now, once all that's done, I can simply uh, squeeze the air out by simply doing a burping process, just like we do on the other two suits, and get all the air out. All we do is simply stretch the neck seal, we squat down, get all the air out, we release the neck seal, and then we simply stand back up. Now, once that's done, I can simply make any final adjustments that I need to just to make sure the suit's going to be good for me. Now that we've got the tri-laminate suit on, let me show you how easy it is to remove it. I always start with the crotch strap itself. I'm going to simply unsnap it, and that allows me to have a little bit of play so that when it comes time, I can get my head out very easily. I'm going to go ahead and start with the protective zipper first, and I'm going to unzip it all the way up to the shoulder as high as I can get it. Then I'll go with the waterproof zipper and try to make it in one smooth motion. I'm going to get it up on my shoulder as well, and that's going to give me plenty of play in the suit. Now, since I went ahead and started with the crotch strap, I can actually pull that telescoping waist up to where the suit's going to be very floppy up top. I'm going to do the reverse Ace Ventura method where I stretch out the neck seal, tuck my chin down in, and as I duck my head, I can very easily remove the top part of the suit from my head. Now I'm going to move over onto the right wrist seal. I'm going to pull out on the wrist seal, pull my arm out first, making sure that my shoulder comes out of the suit and that my elbow comes out of the suit, and now I can simply reach behind me with my left and right arm grab onto the right wrist area of the suit and pull my right arm completely out. Then all I've got to do is simply repeat the process on the left side. Pull the wrist seal out, pull my arm through it, get my shoulder out, my elbow out, 
and then I can pull the left arm completely out. Now that that's done, I simply roll the suit down until the suspenders catch. Then I'm going to remove the suspenders, have a seat in my seat, and then I can very easily roll it down to the crotch area and then repeat the process that I did with the bilaminate. Simply take my left foot, slightly push down on the right heel of the boot, of my right foot until my foot comes out and then I can remove it from my right leg, repeating the process with the leg, left leg until my leg's completely out. Now, just like I did with the other suits, I simply hang them up, let them dry. With this particular suit, because it has a plastic zip, I typically will zip it up, unlike the brass tooth zipper, because it's gonna be a little bit more flexible for storage. So there you go guys, that's it for part two of dry suit diving. We talked about how you don't end off different types of dry suits. In our very next video, I'm gonna show you actually how to prep it. And I know it's a little bit out of order, but I'm gonna show you how you actually prep a suit and take care of a suit during storage and how you clean it as well. So stay tuned for that. Because I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, definitely share it as well. If you got any questions on dry suit diving, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer your questions as best I can, as quick as I can as well. Because I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.